You know, Kabbalah is described as a secret. Right. It's the secrets. And uh, the question is, uh, what's so secret about it? There, there's a great Hasidic Rebbe by the name of, or referred to as the Piazetzna Rebbe. And he answers this question, and this is what he says. He says, the reason why the Kabbalah is a secret is not because nobody's willing to tell you, it's because nobody's able to tell you. Mm. Because it is an experience that no one can communicate. For instance, chocolate. Chocolate is a secret. I can't tell you what chocolate tastes like. We could open up a dictionary and there'll be a description. Chocolate, uh, you know, uh, uh, cocoa beans grounded with a sweetener um, um, added. Right. I still don't know what it is. It's just pointing to me with, if I had to find it. And it's not something that you study. It's an experience. There's many, many books on the Kabbalah. But if you read them and you study them and you consume them and you don't allow them to point to the truth which is pure knowing in a direct, immediate way, then you've missed the whole point. And I did that for years. I was reading these books, I was studying these books, I was analyzing these books, but I thought that I didn't realize this was a menu. And this menu was as delicious as it sounded. I still didn't get to the meal until I let the teachings take me to the truth, which is experiential. Mm. So the problem is if you say, you know, you can't get it in books, you have to experience it, what's going to make somebody want to experience it? You know, what, what's that, what, what do we need, what's that initial jolt to get people juiced on it, that they're going to want to experience it, like you're saying. Because I do understand what you're saying. You have to learn it, but you have to experience it. Exactly. But what's the, what's the impetus for people, if they're watching a movie like this, to say, oh, I'm, I'm getting a little taste, now I'm going to take it further. Okay. So let's define the word Kabbalah. Just what does the word mean? The word Kabbalah means to receive. And um, on a simple level, it's understood as this is wisdom that's being received. This is not wisdom you can just figure out on your own. This is wisdom that's been passed on and has been received. Okay? But it's much deeper than that. The Kabbalah is actually the secret of how to receive the most out of life. Mm. Not how to get the most out of life. Mm -hmm. but it's actually how to receive the most what out is, of life. What does that mean to receive the most out of life? You see, the Kabbalah teaches that, uh, that the purpose of creation is that God wants to give His goodness to others. And what's the greatest goodness that God could give us? It's an experience of divine presence, God's presence in our lives. The only problem is, do you know how to receive it? Right, right now, for instance, right now, there is Chinese music playing. You don't hear it and I don't hear it because we don't have a radio that's turned on and tuned in to receiving that broadcast. That's right. So the Kabbalah says that there's, so to speak, a God cast, right? That's happening. All the time. Everywhere. Right. Okay? And now the question is, are you able to receive the gift? But isn't it true that God has purposely made himself hidden to us? Yes. Because you don't know what you've got till it's gone, paved paradise, put up a parking lot. Until you're missing something, you're not yearning to receive it. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Um, Kirk Douglas, who was a, uh, an actor that I studied, not acting with, I studied Kabbalah with. And so he shared something really amazing to me. He said, you know, um, he grew up in a poverty-stricken home. And there were 12 people in the house of, of the family. And they, sometimes they had one egg for everybody. They had to split up one egg. Yeah. So he said, you know, Rabbi, I experienced poverty in my life. And now I know what it means to receive the riches of my life. He says, there's a gift my parents gave me I couldn't give my children. Uh -huh. My parents gave me the gift of poverty. Uh -huh. And now I'm able to receive the gift of richness. I couldn't give my kids the gift of poverty. Right. You see, if a person was rich and they were always rich and all their friends were rich and all the magazines they ever read about were about rich people, yeah. they don't know what poverty is, so they don't really have those riches consciously. The way you build the vessel of consciousness 
is by yearning and missing what it is that you're yearning for. You know? right. And so therefore the Kabbalah actually teaches that there was a split moment where we experienced the ultimate, but we weren't ready to receive it. But we had a moment taste of it. And then this darkness is setting the stage for that craving, for that hunger mm -hmm. to receive that light once again.